everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya. And if you're returning, well today I'm gonna to be working on those spring and Easter DIYs. These Dollar Tree DIYs were so fun and unique. I hope that you're gonna enjoy them today. Let's go ahead and jump into DIY number one. For our first DIY, we're gonna be creating this peekaboo bunny wreath. And I love this design. You can take this right from Easter all the way through summer. I'm gonna take a couple of those little boxes and stain them. And then I'm gonna take the paws and the feet off of this bunny because I'm going to put them in the greenery like the bunny is actually holding on to the wreath from behind. And this design turned out so cute, so I definitely hope you enjoy this one. And now, I bought this egg wreath form, and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but this works perfect for this type of design. And where the egg shape was bigger at the top, it made the bunny fit in there behind really, really well. And I'm gonna use zip ties to just attach the boxes on, and I'm also gonna use some zip ties to attach the wood bunny on the back. Everyone, this was so fun and simple, and I was really happy with how this turned out, and I really enjoyed the shape of this wreath. I don't know about you, everyone, but I love it when we can create designs that they can kind of just flow and transition from one season to the other, and I feel like our little peekaboo bunny wreath here is going to be able to do just that. Now I'm gonna take the feet and glue right there on the bottom of the box. That way it looks like the bunny feet is coming out of the bottom. And then I'm gonna take one of these little palette pieces and put that on the front of the box. And the reason why I'm doing that is because of what I'm gonna be having kind of draping over in front. I thought that little palette would look really, really pretty. Now I'm using those white cone flowers that I found at Dollar Tree. I was so happy to find these. I had never seen these before there, but they definitely made a beautiful wreath and I love how this one turned out. But I'm going to just start building those up around the side and just forming kind of like a little halo above the bunny's head. And it just turned out so pretty, everyone. I'm so happy with this one. And that fern that they have at Dollar Tree has the perfect color tone. And you can see how it went really well with the cone flowers. And then I took some of those other ones that make such a mess, but they're so pretty. But look at this design. I love how this one turned out. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna create these garden stone bunnies with the fabric bunnies from Dollar Tree. And everyone, this was a new thing that I wanted to try ever since I picked these bunnies up. And I am so happy with this one, how it turned out. Now I'm gonna mix up some of that quick dry cement and you can buy that at Lowe's. They've got several different varieties and I, I let it get kind of thin and because I wanted it just to be able to kind of soak into the fabric and it's a little bit messy at first. I would definitely wear gloves, but I wanted to make sure that I got everything covered and the first dip, you're gonna have to kind of work it into the fabric, but then after you get them laid out and you can kind of rub off some of the little rough pieces, then I go back with a thinner layer of it and add on. Now I'm gonna take that remaining and put in my little box because we're gonna make a cute little market stand that the bunnies are gonna stand beside and then I'm gonna fill the bottom of this box with really pretty flowers. And I ended up just putting market on that because like I said, I wanted it to transition right straight from spring into summer. But this will definitely be nice to have for an Easter display also. Now, you can see I'm mixing up some really thin 
cement and because this will dry it just takes a little bit longer and I just really wanted to coat this on and kind of get them as smooth as I could get them and once you get the second layer of this on it will start drying just enough that you'll be able to start forming the ears and the arms in the shape that you want. While those were drying a little bit, I wanted to add a little bit more of this cement stuff to a birdhouse. And you can see in the corner, I added to a box and bunny. And now I'm gonna finish painting this because it had dried. And I'm just gonna give one good coat of paint because I wanted this to be kind of like the little rustic farm sign going into the market. But everyone, this was such a neat idea and you'll have to definitely let me know what you think of these little stone bunnies. Now, I love them the way they are natural, but I am really loving that dove gray. It goes so well with my home decor and I really like it with the neutral decor also. But I'm just gonna give this two or three good layers of this paint and let it dry. And once this dries, everyone, it feels so cold and it looks just like stone. So I am definitely happy that I found something really fun to do with all of those little fabric uh, bunnies and all the other little creations they have there at Dollar Tree because I will definitely be using this technique. Now, I haven't put any glaze on top of this yet. You could seal this with some uh, poly acrylic or any kind of varnish and they could sit outside in your garden if you'd like. Now I'm gonna put a couple foam blocks in here and then I'm gonna add some more of my greenery. This is that favorite greenery of mine that I like to get at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just gonna put some of my white flowers and then some of the green moss in there and this is actually the moss i think i did pick this one up at michael's but they have that also at dollar tree but everyone look how pretty that is i love this now i almost put bunny trail on here but i decided i wanted to do market because that's a big thing in the area where i live we go to the markets from spring all the way through fall now i was going to use this stencil but i tried it out and it kind of got a little rough around the edges so i decided just to print one off on my Cricut and I put that right on the top there. But everyone, look how beautiful these little stone bunnies turned out with the little market sign. Now for our next DIY, I wanted to take a couple of these little boxes I had left over and you saw I had added some of that extra cement on there. And I just thought this would be fun just to pop a couple of these little pieces of uh, greenery in there and a little bit of moss. And I ended up taking some of the little uh, dye wood cutouts from Dollar Tree and painting them with that dove gray. and. I actually hot glued those on. I suggest using super glue or that E6000 because they didn't want to adhere to the concrete real well. So definitely uh, use something a little stronger than hot glue. But once again, I think this dove gray just added a perfect little accent and I just glued a few of those around the edges of the boxes. And this made a really simple and sweet little accent piece. This would be really fun in a bathroom or a den or an office. But this was just a simple one I wanted to try with my extra cement.
Now for our last DIY, I wanted to make this little narrow birdhouse display. And I did this because I've got a really narrow wall in my house. And I thought, what can I put there? So I put a little bit of that cement on that birdhouse and took one of those signs, painted it white, and then took another one of these simple little palettes and just popped on there. And I decided to add the cement to some of those foam eggs from Dollar Tree. And this looks so cute when I hung it up on my wall, everyone. It was just big enough that it added just that fun little hint of the spring and summer. And I just enjoy it so much where it's at. But something different and something unique. But everyone, while we're watching this, You'll have to let me know what you thought of these DIYs today. I know they were really fun for me to create and I'm really happy with how the fabric bunnies from Dollar Tree turned out. Um, the cement thing is just kind of a unique way to create a different look. So let me know if this is a design that you enjoy and if it's one that you're gonna try. Now you can see I'm using those little fern stickers and everyone i got a couple of those packs remember i'm gonna put in the giveaway for you and i thought it would just be fun to just kind of have the fern and maybe the leaves maybe it was a windy day that day and the the little vines were blowing around and i just thought this had a little bit of a whimsical look and i wanted to add a little of that dove gray to my eggs and it kind of give them almost that little cast of maybe like a little robin egg but this was a really fun and simple one and i hope you enjoyed it Well, everyone, that's it for our Dollar Tree DIYs today. I hope you enjoyed these. And if so, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. And also, if you had a favorite one that I created today, drop that in the comments. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. Well, everyone, we have reached our 4,000 subscribers. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you about what you'll need to do to be entered in the drawing for the giveaway. All I ask is that you leave a comment on this video and tell me some of your favorite things about the spring season. And next Saturday, I will have all the names entered into a drawing and we will pick the winner for the $50 Dollar Tree gift card and a few other little items that I decided to throw in there for you that I thought that you might enjoy. Well, everyone, once again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and share with your friends and like, and I'll leave links in the description to some other videos that I think that you might enjoy watching. Well, everyone, I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed weekend, and I will see you on the next one.